Hi friends, welcome to my channel Pharma Knowledge by Satyanarana Siyadri. And we discussed so many uh, Pharma Knowledge topics in our previous classes. Uh, today our topic is uh, Optical Rotation. What is an Optical Rotation and uh, what is the Chirality and uh, Anonsumers uh, and how to measure this Optical Rotation and uh, what is the principle in its instrumentation and what are the types of uh, rotation and what is a specific optical rotation and what are the factors those affect the optical rotation we will cover in today's class and what is an optical rotation and basically some of the chemical substances organic compounds are optically active and optical activity means the ability of a molecule or a compound to rotate the plane of polarized light either to the left side or to the right side when passed a light through these uh, sample solution or compound. And uh, by definition, optical rotation means uh, the rotation of plane of polarized light by an optically active substance is called optical rotation and means it is the angle of rotation, how much angle rotated by the molecule when we pass a plane of polarized light through the solution. For more details, you can refer ESP General Chapter 781 and EEP General Chapter 2.2.7. And uh, when a chemical substance shows an optical activity, actually basically the, chem uh, the chiral molecules, uh, the organic molecules, chiral molecules shows the optical activity property and chiral means uh, the compound should contain a chiral carbon. And what is a chiral carbon? Chiral carbon means uh, we know the carbon having a valency 4 means it will form 4 bonds to the different molecules or atoms. Means uh, the chiral carbon uh, means whose 4 valences are completely are completed with uh, different groups uh, including one hydrogen atom. Those carbon, that carbon we can call as a chiral carbon. It means the carbon uh, atom should be uh, linked to other atoms in a single bonded and uh, it should be sp3 hybridized means it should not contain any double bonds such molecules source the optical activity basically and this chiral carbon another names are there asymmetrical carbon we can say and chiral center or stereo center we can uh, uh, call this chiral carbon and what are anonymous we know uh, the chiral molecules having uh, uh, ability to rotate the plane of polarized light uh, 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 in that uh, one molecule will rotate the plane of polarized to the left side and another will rotate the plane of polarized to the right side and those molecules uh, those are actually mirror images uh, but those are not uh, superimposable means the definition part you can see non superimposable mirror images of an optically active substance isomers are called the and also mass. You can see here example I have given bromochlorofluoromethane. These two seems to be same uh, in uh, like uh, one and uh, one is uh, related to another mirror image but when we place on, on one upon another one it should not be superimposable such molecules we can call as a anonsomers these two compounds are actually same compound structure was a good thing but only difference uh, the rotation of the plane of polarized light uh, when passing through these substances and the chiral molecules with one or more stereocenters can be anonsomers we can say and whenever this uh, uh, based on the chiral center we can say how many anonsomers will be there suppose uh, if n number of uh, uh, chiral centers are there stereocenters are there in a compound carbon compound uh, then it will give you 2 power of n uh, isomers and how to measure this optical rotation and uh, what is the instrumentation part actually the instrument which we are using for measuring the optical rotation is called a polarimeter and uh, this polarimeter is an instrument uh, which measures the angle of rotation by passing a polarized light through the optically active substance uh, means the solution and a principle for a uh, for a given substance uh, the angle of rotation at a specified wavelength is directly proportional to the path length of the cell as well as and its concentration is the principle of this SOR um, optical rotation 
and absorbance is directly proposed to the length and concentration of the sample solution. This is the principle about optical rotation. This is the uh, angle of rotation directly proportional to the, uh, the concentration and the path length of the cell. And I have wonder what is this plane of polarized light? Plane of polarized light means uh, when we take a light source, uh, it will give you multi-directional uh, multi light uh, uh, waves, uh, light in the form of uh, electromagnetic waves. Uh, and when we pass this multi-directional light into a nickel prism uh, polarization filter, then it will give you a unidirectional uh, means a single single plane of uh, monochrome light. That light we call as a polarizer light. And here I have given a pictorial diagram about this uh, instrumentation part. Uh, we have to take a light source. Uh, it is in multi-directional light. Uh, when we pass into the polarizer, uh, bipolarizer we are using as a nickel prism. It will give you single plane of light. Uh, when we pass into this light to the sample tube, it will have some uh, rotation. That rotation we can measure as an angle by using an analyzer. Maybe uh, leave, uh, left side rotation or right side rotation. And I have given another pictorial diagram here for better understanding. You can see light source first, uh, then uh, polarizer, uh, unpolarized light, uh, and then it is a polarizer, and uh, it will convert into single plane of light. Uh, and then we pass this uh, uh, unidirectional light through our uh, sample solution. The solution contains the active substance, optical active substance uh, will have ability to rotate the plane of polarized light through the left or right side and by using an analyzer uh, we can measure the angle of rotation. This is the pictorial diagram of the of instrumentation of optical rotation. And types of rotation. We discussed already uh, based on the nature of the molecule it will have a maybe left side rotation or right side rotation means the rotation of plane of polarized may be either clockwise or anti-clockwise based on the nature of the molecule which we take in for analysis and suppose the rotation is a clockwise to the left right side then it is called a dextrorotatory and it can be denoted by the plus like example sucrose or this and anti-clockwise means uh, the rotation of plane of polarized light to the anti-clockwise to the left side then we can call as it is a levorotatory molecule it will be denoted with a minus example fructose i have green here d-glucose and l-glucose lactic acid and d-lactic acid and a specific optical rotation we discussed about optical rotation now what is a specific optical rotation and specific optical rotation, the title itself it is there, it is a specific rotation, means uh, at a particular temperature, wavelength and concentration. You see here, uh, specific rotation is a fundamental property of a chiral substance or a molecule that is expressed as the angle to which the material causes polarization, polarized light to rotate at a particular uh, temperature, wavelength and concentration, depend on the temperature, wavelength and concentration. And the OR is a uh, uh, independent to the concentration and uh, specific optical rotation is a dependent on the concentration. You can see here formula I have given here alpha is equal to uh, alpha by LC and this alpha is a specific rotation at a certain temperature and at a wavelength, certain wavelength. Mostly we are using sodium lamp, D line, 518 and nanometer we are using commonly for the SOR testing and uh, sol at a particular solvent. Uh, and this is an observed rotation in degrees uh, and L is the path length of the sample tube in decimeter and uh, C is the concentration of the solution. And I have given a few of the molecules for uh, uh, values here for reference purpose you can see uh, D glucose uh, we, should, uh, we can have a plus 52.7 uh, and D sucrose uh, but plus 66.37 D lactose 52.3 and came for plus 44.26 uh, and D fructose minus 92 cholesterol minus 31.5 and cis 2 bromobutane will give you plus 23.1 and uh, whereas uh, R isomer of that same molecule 2 bromobutane will give you minus 23.1 degrees of the SOR. And what are the factors which affect the optical rotation? 
actually uh, we discussed that the uh, the rotation is directly proportional to the concentration and the path length of the cell so these are the factors commonly effect on the uh, optical rotation concentration of the solution concentration of the sample solution uh, where this is a linear with the concentration optical rotation is linear with the sample solution sample concentration and wavelength which we used for the uh, determination of the uh, sample optical rotation actually this uh, uh, angle of rotation uh, inversely proportional to the wavelength of the uh, light we used. More commonly, we are using sodium lamp wavelength of a D line 510.3 nanometer mostly. And the temperature of the sample is directly proportional to the optical rotation. The temperature is more uh, and the rotation will be more. And length of the sample cell, how much length you are taking, that is also the, uh, impact the uh, absorbance as well as this optical rotation. And filling conditions, how you are filling the tube, sample tube, there should not be any bubble, uh, there should not be any uh, color or what it may be. It should be clear solution and a bubble free solution when you are filling into the uh, sample tube. And these are the factors uh, affecting on the uh, OR uh, optical rotation. Whenever we are doing analysis, uh, we should keep in mind these all points. Uh, uh, the sample should be prepared and dilated as per the monograph uh, and wavelength should be as per the monograph uh, and temperature should be uh, con controlled state uh, and uh, length of the cell which you are used uh, and filling conditions uh, these are the factors very much important uh, you, we should keep in mind while performing the optical rotation or specific optical rotation so we discussed uh, uh, today optical rotation chiral molecules and enantiomers uh, how to measure this OR and its instrumentation part uh, and uh, optical rotation as well as uh, uh, SOR and what are the factors which uh, impact the optical rotation. Uh, I hope you all understand today's topic. Uh, uh, please subscribe my channel for my knowledge of We have uh, made already number of classes, uh, validations, uh, qualifications, uh, data integrity, OOS uh, and the COP we did already earlier uh, about 16-17 videos we have made. Uh, I will discuss the briefly and in future I will make number of videos uh, uh, so please watch my videos uh, thank you for watching thank you once again